you guys can see me, so I'll turn this light on. But uh, yeah, we're in line right now, and there is a lot of boats. There's probably lot 150 boats. boats here or more. Yeah, I'd have to say. It's Maybe pretty, even close to 200. Pretty big tournament. But we're boat 24. It's kind of surprising. We've got a good boat number. Not bad. Um, kind of honestly wish I just got the last flight because that warmer weather is going to be later in the afternoon. So you get like an extra hour of that. But we got Owen and his dad right here in front of us. Um, they're probably like the last flight, but we're going to see how it goes today. Your practice didn't really go good yesterday or anything, so we're going to figure it out. All right. Sorry for the uh, crappy intro this morning. Um, it was kind of chaotic this morning. Um, hardly any parking spots. There's well over 100 boats in this tournament today. We are starting kind of close to the ramp um, somewhere. There was some active fish in the area yesterday, but we couldn't get them to bite. Um, just kind of flying by the seat of our pants today, to be honest with you, because yesterday we just didn't really catch much and uh, didn't have a whole lot to go off of. The weekend before last was a more productive day for me, for sure. But uh, we're gonna probably run down to the Blackwater River today. And that's mainly where we're gonna spend most of our time, that end of the lake. And uh, we're just gonna see what happens. You know, it's really bright, sunny day today. A little different than yesterday. It was cloudy, windy, and rainy. It's a little windy today, but I think it's gonna die down later. So we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna stick the fish in docks and trees and, you know, just kind of fish our roots and uh, stick with what works for us. So we'll see you guys, hopefully with a bass soon. I'm going to fish. I'll come and pick you up. Look at this thing right here. No. What do you mean? Come on, man. Oh, I can do that. I'm going to go fish. All right, buddy. Well, when they see somebody getting off on the bank, they know what's happening. Oh yeah, it's the first keeper. I lost one probably about the same size, maybe a little bigger, earlier on a crankbait. I decided to put a chatterbait on. Damn, he's hooked good. Well, yeah, nice one. Start.
Good God almighty, this sucker just slammed a mag draft. I cannot believe how shitty of a job I'm doing recording today, but it's been a really tough day and I've been super focused on just catching fish. But that this smallmouth was in like three foot of water. I'm just glad we don't have that net job on camera. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Oh, that's a good smallmouth right there, bro. Good job, buddy. You caught him, caught you a small daddy up shallow. Yeah, I did. Flex, 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 flex. Hey, Counter. Close. Stop. You wouldn't have expected a small mouth to be sitting right there. No, I really wouldn't, but I mean, it's that kind of. Get the net! He ain't 14. Huh? I don't think he's 14. I think he's 14. He's got you don't have number three anymore? No, what I'm saying is I lost my number one coal tag. So number one is number two, number two is number three, and three is gonna be number four. So grab the four number four coal tag. Go on there. So go on number four coal tag. Yeah, I should have just weighed the first fish as number two, but I didn't think about it. Here we're gonna put him in the other side. Okay.
kidding me? Dude, that fish is hanging at the boat. What the hell? <laughs> I can't make that up. You got some, dude.